I'm Brad Edwards. It's the kind of thing we do here every day, uncovering truth, holding elected officials accountable. And tonight, the city is taking action against a northwest side alderman for inappropriate conduct in office. It's the latest in the saga involving Alderman James Gardner, one we've reported for months. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov also confirms a federal investigation into his actions has been underway for months. Embattled 45th Ward Alderman James Gardner's troubles are growing. The Chicago Board of Ethics finding probable cause. The first term alderman violated the city's ethics code twice. One, as we reported last week, was directing staffers to obtain and then leak Ward resident James Suh's old arrest records. The motive? Retaliation after Suh staged this anti-Gardner rally in 2019. It's good to see that there is finally some recognition that the alderman's conduct was simply not acceptable. That motive laid out in these text messages CBS2 obtained from one of Gardner's former staffers a week after we obtained other Gardner texts where he uses offensive language about another alderman and women who work in city politics. Unfortunately, those comments do not reflect my values. The Board of Ethics findings come one day after Gardner made that apology at a city council meeting but didn't address charges of retaliation. Gardner hasn't responded to our request for comment either, his staffers even ignoring and then closing the blinds on us when we went to his ward office last week. He needs to resign. But Suss says action being taken now comes eight months after he sent the city's inspector general and board of ethics this email about Gardner's conduct asking for an investigation. I received an email in response acknowledging that they received my email. And beyond that, I never heard anything else. CBS2 has also confirmed Gardner is in the FBI's crosshairs, the subject of a federal investigation that is months, not weeks old. Gardner has the option of requesting a confidential hearing about the Board of Ethics findings. He could also be subject to a $5,000 fine. Gardner is also a Cook County Democratic Party committee member. 17 fellow committee persons signed a complaint asking that the party investigate his conduct. And tonight we've learned that investigation is also underway. Live in the Streetside studio, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Brad. Another twist. We know you will keep knocking. Thank you, Dana.